guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So guys, today we are going to be finding out what is your future spouse's biggest secret. So what is the secret that they keep from everyone? So... If that is something that interests you, then let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks, shall we? So for group number one, we have this blue and black pin coming through. For group number two, we have this pure black pin making an appearance. And last but not least, for group number three, we have this green and black pin. So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in. And now I want you to please let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about what big secret your future spouse is keeping from you and everyone else. Now, whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes and whichever pin your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to more than one pin here, then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well. And as always, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today. Hello, group one! So, you chose this gorgeous blue and black pin today. Then, hey, hello, how are you? And welcome to your reading. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just prop this up right here. If it wants to be propped up, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, you guys, honestly, you can't really see it that well. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's take a look at your tarot cards. So we are asking the question, what is the biggest secret that your future spouse is going to be keeping from everyone, including you? So what is this big secret? What is your group one's future spouse's biggest secret? Can we get a message, please? Can we get some cards, please, Spirit? Can we get some cards? Ooh, okay. Let's get that one. Let's grab that one. And then... Oh, my goodness, you guys. So many cards. So little time. I'm going to put that back in there. Let's just try to get one more card. One more card. There we go. So I'm going to put that right here. And let's see what you got. So we have the fool coming through. Ooh, okay. So that does make me think about that gorgeous Aquarius energy. So your future spouse could be in Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. We have the Knight of Swords making an appearance, which does talk about air signs, which is awesome because Aquarius energy does represent the air signs. So yeah, your person could be an Aquarius, but they could also be a, a Gemini, a Libra. Now, last but not least, wow, we have the Magician card coming through. Ooh, so that touches on that Gemini energy as well. So, wow, we have a lot of Zodiac signs coming through. But I'm definitely getting like a really strong sense of passion from your future spouse. Group one, I, I honestly think the biggest thing that your person is going to be keeping from you and from everyone else is the fact that I feel like they have some type of really big dream for themselves that they are not allowing themselves to go after. Um, I'm just getting the idea that they may be afraid of what people might say about their dream. Maybe they feel like their dream is just really too big for them to ever try to go after. Um, and I'm just getting this idea that they are kind of worrying about what 
other people would say. They're in a way allowing society to keep them in this cage. So I'm just getting the idea that this big, big dream could be something that a lot of people would look at and say like, wow, like they could never do that. So what I mean by that is maybe your person is someone who is a nurse and maybe they have the dream to become a doctor. But obviously going to medical school, that can be a difficult challenge. And so maybe they feel like the the odds are just stacked against them and that if they were to share their dreams with other people that everyone would just say like no just be a nurse uh that's too much schooling you could never uh complete those like science courses you could never make it through you're not good enough that's too big of a dream this could represent other things as well maybe they want to become a lawyer or they want to become an actress or actor or some type of musician or something like that but that is like the biggest thing i'm getting like i really think that they have like a dream that is more so um to do with their uh, business or their work life but this dream could also talk about other things as well maybe they are someone who has a dream to just be themselves to step outside of their comfort zone and to no longer like hide what they're thinking and how they're feeling to try to please other people so um for some of you guys this could honestly represent someone who is in the closet right now. This could be someone who is gay, but they're in a relationship. Like they're in a straight couple relationship, right? Does that make sense? And they're afraid to tell their person that they're with, that they're gay, they're afraid of how they would react, and they're also afraid of what um, the public feedback they would get from their family, from their friends. So that could talk about a dream of just wanting to truly be themselves and wanting to no longer hide who they are. This could be talking about how maybe they have like spiritual dreams. What I mean by that is maybe they are someone who is less traditional than everyone else. Maybe they are someone who has grown up in a very, very strict Christian household, and yet they are someone who is really drawn to tarot, and they're drawn to Buddhism and different, like, forms of spirituality that wouldn't match up with what their family would want them to study. Does that make sense? So, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm just getting the idea that the biggest secret that your future spouse is keeping is that they have some type of big dream. And that dream can represent anything. That could represent a job, a work situation type of dream. That could represent an identity type of dream. That can represent a spiritual dream. It, it could represent any type of dream. But at the end of the day, they are keeping that back. They are hiding it. And I do think that a lot of that just comes from the fact that they are afraid of the public feedback that they would receive. They're afraid of people looking at them and seeing them like as an outcast and no longer wanting to be friends with them. Um, I'm also getting the idea that maybe they just don't really believe in themselves that much at this moment. Um, that's what I'm seeing here with the Magician card because the Magician card does talk about seeing your pure full potential and so maybe your future spouse just needs someone to be in their corner to tell them how awesome they are, to tell them how incredible they are, to build them up. So maybe they're just waiting for you, right? Maybe they're waiting to meet somebody as incredible as you are and you will help influence them and just build them up enough that they will be ready to share that knowledge with you, that dream of theirs with you, and then you will help, you know, guide them to go after their dream. But yeah, I just think that at the end of the day, like I said, their biggest secret here is the fact that they have a sort of dream for themselves and for their life, but they are just kind of afraid to reveal it. Okay, so let's see what else wants to come through here, Spirit. Can we get some messages, please? For group one, what is their biggest secret, Spirit? Oh, beautiful. Can we get one more card here 
one more card there we go yeah that makes so much sense so you guys we have blue fairy coming through which does like symbolize this card does talk about like love and romance and connections things like that with the child magical card coming through this makes me think about how your person they just have again a dream that is so so big and I think that the dream that they have is a dream that children would have for themselves and I feel like I'm saying that weird but you know how children whenever they're young they are not afraid of any obstacles they're not afraid of what other people will think of them and these are they just believe that anything is possible and so I just think that your person your future spouse has a dream a really really big dream one that's so big that only children could have that type of dream right because you know how when children are young they can just say like oh mommy one day I want to become an astronaut or I want to become an actress and that dream may be so freaking huge and may be so hard to achieve but because they have this childlike sense of love and optimism and positivity no dream is too big for them and so I'm just getting the idea that this type of dream that your future spouse has it's one that is so big that almost only kids would dream of them, would dream of that dream. And this could also be representing how this dream of theirs could be something that they've wanted since they were a child as well. So this could be something that they've wanted to to accomplish ever since they were young or maybe they've always known since they were young that they were gay that they liked the same sex but they just kept it to themselves for some reason. Um, maybe they've always felt it like a, a maybe they've always felt drawn to spirituality and to tarot but they just kept it to themselves right but then with the expansion coming through this again just goes along with everything that I'm saying like your person their biggest dream is that they just had this huge dream that involves them having to expand their horizons to to also expand the way that they communicate with others and allow people to see them in a new light in a new expansive light does that make sense and just touching back on this blue fairy card again like I was saying this talks about love and so I think at the end of the day your future spouse's biggest secret is that there is something that they love so much that they hold so dear to them and that thing that they hold so dear is this dream it's a dream that they could have had since they were a child or a dream that is so big that only a child could dream of it and it's something that they realize they're gonna have to expand their mind and their horizons in order to try to even allow themselves to start to try to attain those dreams so yeah, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday, and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have a gorgeous rest of your day, friends. Mwah! Bye, guys. Hello, group two. So if you felt called to this pure black pin, then hey, hello, how are you? And welcome to my channel. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side like so to uh, kind of rest there. <laughs> Hopefully that stays in place. It looks like it is resting very precar precariously right there. So we'll see what happens. But let's go ahead and just jump into this reading right now because I'm so excited to find out what big secret your future spouse keeps from everyone. So can we get some messages please group two or spirit excuse me for group two spirit. Will you please tell us what is group two's biggest secret? Can we get some messages, please? Group two's biggest secret. Can we get some messages, please? So 
some messages. So I do see the sun coming through already. And that does talk about Leo energy. So your person, your future spouse could be a Leo, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus, which we love to see. I love that, like, Leo energy. It's so bold and beautiful. We have the moon making an appearance. Okay. That is so interesting to see the moon and the sun side by side. And I love that we actually have the moon because that does talk about secrets and mystery. So that's an interesting synchronicity to receive whenever we are doing a reading on secrets. <laughs> now, we also have the world coming through. Okay, that's lovely. Okay. Now let's see. The back of the deck energy is the Eight of Swords. Okay. So I'm definitely getting the idea that your person, your future spouse, they are feeling quite trapped. And I'm honestly getting the idea that your future spouse, they are the ones who are trapping themselves. And... I think that they are making themselves feel like they are stuck, but in reality, they've always had the ability to step outside of this cage, but they've made themselves think that they don't have the keys. And so they made themselves think that there's no way that they can get out of this type of entrapment, okay? Now you might be asking, what is this entrapment? What is this secret? So I honestly think that your future spouse, I think that their biggest secret is that they could definitely be suffering from some depression. I think that they don't want to let other people know what is going on in their mind. They don't want to let people realize that they are going through this dark moment. And I'm kind of getting the idea that on the outside, they may come off as this very happy-go-lucky person. Or at least they just come off as somebody who is not upset. I think that if anyone ever talks to them, they always have like a smile on their face. They don't seem like someone who is an angry individual or a sad individual. And yet they are feeling these feelings of sorrow, of sadness. You know, I find it very interesting because the Sun card, this talks about so much positivity this talks about so much love, so much just unadulterated joy. This talks about having the type of joy that only a child can truly experience. It's a type of joy that hasn't that that has been untouched by adulthood, by the sorrows that one will experience as they get older. But what's very interesting is that, is that this card came in reverse, and I almost never read reversals, but I think that it is so interesting that this came out in reverse, especially with what I am feeling right now with the energy that is going through me. And so for the sake of this message for you guys, I am going to be taking this as a reversal. So whenever this is reverse, this literally talks about the opposite of what I was just saying. So what is the opposite of positivity? It's negativity. What is the opposite of pure joy it is pure sadness and so I'm just getting the idea that your person I don't know what has happened in their life I don't know if they have had to face some really hard times or if they have felt like they had to grow up at a very young age but something has happened that has caused them to be very upset. It has caused them to be quite pessimistic and it has caused them to just be depressed. But for whatever reason, they feel like they can't talk about that. And so instead of letting people know how they are feeling inside, they decide to wear this mask. And I think that at the end of the day, people don't realize that 
they are sad and that they are experiencing this type of emotional pain. And that is their biggest secret. That is what I'm seeing. So, yeah, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and move these cards up. And let's take a look at your oracle cards. Guys, I'm sorry. I know this isn't like, uh, this, this isn't a really happy reading that we are seeing right now. But all I can hope is that as they grow more comfortable with you after they meet you, I hope that they will get to a moment where they finally feel comfortable enough to talk about these feelings with you. And I'm sure they will because this is your future spouse that we are talking about. I mean, talking about your emotions comes with the territory of being in a marriage, or at least that's what a marriage should be. And so I do think that you will get to a point where this person will feel like they can talk to you about their feelings. And I think that once you guys do, you guys will be able to work this out together. You guys will be able to work together to try to help this to, to try to help them to try so that you can try to help your person just get in a better just get in a better light does that make sense in a better spirit that's that's the word i was looking for but let's see what else wants to come through let's get one more card spirit for group two what is their biggest secret that they are keeping from everyone can we get a message please what is their biggest secret okay okay so this is interesting first of all we have bully coming through we have birth of magic and then last but not least, we have acceptance. So guys, I'm getting two messages coming through from this bully card. So this, the root of this pain that your person could be experiencing or is experiencing right now could be coming from the fact that they could have been in an abusive relationship in the past. Maybe they had a friend that was very mean to them that always just put them down. They could have had a family member, a mom, a dad, a sister, a brother, what have you, that was a bully towards them that constantly just said so many negative things to them. They could have had a teacher or just, just anyone who they've come across in their life that was just mean to them and that bullied them and made them feel less than. And that could definitely be what has caused them to get into this light of just feeling pessimistic and feeling sad and depressed. It's coming from the trauma that they have had to experience in the past. Now the other message that I'm seeing here is that this could be talking about how your future spouse is their own bully. Your future spouse could be someone who just never accepts themselves. You know, we have the card of acceptance and Maybe any time your future spouse looks at themselves in the mirror, they could look absolutely perfect, and yet they'll always find something, some type of flaw that they think looks terrible. And they just, I, I feel like they just don't accept themselves for who they are, for what they look like, for whatever reason. They don't love themselves, and that translates into them being very unhappy. That translates into them being very sad and feeling depressed. And I do think that at the end of the day, with the birth of magic coming through, your person, your future spouse, they do not want to feel this way. They want to be able to have these feelings change. You know, that's what I'm seeing here with the world. The world talks about thinking about what would make you completely happy and completely satisfied. And so I think that your person, they want this. They want satisfaction. They want happiness. They want to have the birth of that magic and that happiness come through. And I'm saying birth of magic because that is literally the card that we have, the birth of magic. They want to be able to birth out this happiness and to be able to just have a smile on their their face and 
to have that be a real smile. So I am getting the idea that your person, whenever you meet them, if they are not working towards trying to be happy, then I think that they will be working towards that soon, okay? I think that your person, again, they want happiness. They want to love themselves. They want to be able to mend from the past and from the people who they've met from the past. They want to be able to have a, a smile on their face and again, let it be a real smile. And so I do think that at some point they will do the work that needs to be done so that they can be happy again. They will decide to go to counseling. They will decide to talk to someone about their feelings. They will decide to incorporate healthy habits within their life to try to help them from being um, upset and from being depressed. You know, I am taking a massage therapy course right now and in anatomy and physiology, which is one of the classes I have to take for the uh, massage therapist degree, I just heard how a lack in vitamin D, a deficiency in vitamin D can cause you to feel very, very depressed. I had someone who is about to be certified as an acupuncturist telling me that and telling me and the class that. So maybe your person is going to do the research that needs to be done. Maybe they'll go to the doctor and find out that they have a lack in vitamin D or something. And so they'll realize that that is what is causing their depression. Okay, but at the end of the day, I just think that your future spouse will eventually get to where they need to be so that they can work on these feelings, so that they can work through them and be happy again. So that is a very beautiful message to receive. So yeah, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday. And I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much. And I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group three. So if you chose this beautiful green and black pin today, then hey, hello, how are you? And thank you for stopping by this channel today. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side like so. And let's start taking a look at your tarot cards, okay? So Spirit, we are asking the question, what is Group 3's future spouse's biggest secret? Please Spirit, give us all of the details. Please spill the tea for us, okay? Let's see what wants to come through for Group 3. My Group 3 folks. I like that card. Wants to come through. Let's get a couple more. What wants to come through for group three spirit? Group three. Ooh, okay. Let's get that one. And let's get one more card for group three. Let's grab that one. Okay, you guys. So, let's see what wants to come through. We have the eight of wands. Ooh, that's like a fast paced type of energy. That's a good type of energy to be receiving. Let's see what else is coming through. Okay. The four of swords. Now that's really interesting. So you guys, while this talks about like a really fast paced energy, this is like the exact opposite. This kind of talks about taking a break. This talks about really resting and relaxing so that's very interesting to have these two cards coming out side by side that's very interesting okay now we have excuse me guys sorry my contact is really bothering me right now but with the five of swords coming through okay let's see what the back of the deck energy is wow that's beautiful we have a six of wands. Okay. So this is interesting. I actually think that if you felt called to group number one, which was this uh, blue 
and black pin, you could definitely have some extra messages in that pile as well because I feel like these messages are quite similar to the messages that I was receiving in group one. But at the same time, there is a bit of a twist because I am getting two different messages. So the first message I'm receiving is what I feel like relates a lot to the first uh, group number one reading. So what I mean by that is just like group number one, with the six of wands coming through, the first message I'm receiving is that your future spouse has a dream. They have a really big dream for themselves because literally, I mean, the six of wands, this, this talks about accomplishing your dreams, having a dream and accomplishing it and just being, just feeling so proud and happy like you've achieved something. And so I think that your future spouse their biggest secret is that they have a dream for themselves and yet instead of going after that dream which is like what the eight of wands talks about because this is the card of action we literally have the four of swords which is kind of like the card of inaction and so i'm getting the idea that instead of going after their dreams they're instead just deciding to keep it like in the back corner is that is that the right way to is that the right phrase but they're just keeping it on the sidelines and they're keeping it to themselves and they're not really telling anyone about this big dream or a big goal that, that they have for themselves and the reason why they're not talking about this dream and why they're keeping it a secret is because they are afraid of what people will say if they do tell them their dream because the Five of Swords, this is the card of conflict, of disagreements, of bullying and hostility. And so I am getting the idea that for some of you guys, your future spouse, maybe they could have um, talked to someone in the past about their dream. Maybe they had a best friend that they would talk about their big dreams and aspirations with. And whenever they told them about this big dream of theirs, their friend laughed at them and told them like that is an impossible dream maybe they had a family member that they talked about their dream with and their their family member had the same reaction this could also talk about like a boyfriend or a girlfriend reacting in a negative way but at the end of the day i just think that your future spouse the first message i'm receiving so for maybe half of you guys I think that their their biggest secret is that they have a dream but they don't want to let people know about it because they're afraid that once they find out about this dream of theirs that they will um just be mean to them and tell them that that is an impossible dream and they don't want to feel miserable they don't want to feel like that they don't want to feel the rejection that could come whenever you receive rejection right now the second message that i'm receiving and this could relate to the other half of you guys um it's funny because the second message i'm receiving it's kind of like talking about the same thing but it's completely different <laughs> so what i mean as I feel like for half of you guys, your future spouse could already be living their dream. They could have already accomplished their freaking goals. But for whatever reason, I'm kind of getting the idea that your future spouse, now that they have accomplished this dream, I think that they want to take a break. And they want to just take a time to relax and be on their own. Now this break could be one that is just a short break or this could be an indefinite hiatus, an indefinite break. So maybe your future spouse, whenever you meet them, maybe they are just like the biggest boss of a Fortune 500 company or maybe they are like an amazing doctor that does all these awesome doctor things. But I just feel like for half of you guys, whenever you meet your future spouse, they're going to be at the top of their game. They're going to have already accomplished their dreams. And now they just want to either A, take a break and just relax and be on their own and just have like a siesta or option B, 
They could literally want to have a career change. They could want to completely stop what they're doing and just do something totally different. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they are keeping this a secret. They're keeping this a secret from other people because they are afraid of what other people would say. They're afraid of people getting upset with them for wanting to take a short break, for wanting to just be on their own for a little while. Or they're afraid if they are more drawn to option B, right? If your future spouse is going to want to take a break indefinitely, they're afraid of their family members, their friends, their, um, the people they work with, like, all those people just being upset with them and disagreeing with their choice and being unhappy with the this new change that they want to have within their life. So at the end of the day, they're keeping it a secret because they're not ready for that rejection yet. They're not ready to see and hear what other people would have to say about that idea that they're having, okay? So yeah, that is what I'm seeing so far. Let's go ahead and move on and let's take a look at your Oracle cards. So Spirit, can we get some messages please for group three? What big secret are they keeping from everyone, Spirit? So again, just to relay all those three messages because I know that there is a lot of things I said. So for for some of you guys, your future spouse, their biggest secret could be that they have a dream of theirs that they want to accomplish, but they feel like it is so big and so dreamy that if they tell somebody, their friends, their family members about this dream of theirs, then their friends and family members would laugh at them and be mean to them. The other message I'm seeing is that their secret could be that they've been working for a while, they're, they've accomplished their dream, they're at the top of their game, and yet now they just want to take a siesta, they want to take a break. And the third secret that I'm seeing is that your future spouse could just be at the top of their game and want to have a completely different change to their life. They don't want to do this anymore. They want to do something else. But again, they're afraid of that feedback that they'll receive from other people whenever they relay this message. Now, let's see what wants to come through here with the warrior card coming through. We have caffeine. And last but not least, we have meditation. So yeah, at the end of the day, I think that your future spouse, they're just keeping this secret of theirs close to their heart and they're kind of hiding behind a false persona. The reason why I'm saying that is because we have caffeine and caffeine, whenever I see this card, it makes me think about someone who is very jittery, someone who's very happy, who has a lot of adrenaline because they're drinking coffee. It makes me think about someone who's just, like I said, very happy, very joyful. And so I'm just getting the idea that your person, your future spouse is having this false persona of happiness. They're, they're making people think that they're happy with everything that is going on within their lives and yet again, there's just something that is missing. And the thing that is missing is that A, they either want to, you know, go after this dream of theirs, and yet they're afraid of the reaction they get from other people, so they hold themselves back. B, they have already accomplished their dreams, and now they just want to take a break. Or C, I know, I, I know I've said this a million times, but they could just want to take a break forever and have a change in their life, but they're afraid to admit that. They're afraid to admit those things to people, and instead, they are trying to remain all stoic and just keep on grinding and keep on doing their thing like a warrior, just keep on fighting. And I think that at the end of the day, though, their heart is calling them to just stop and to meditate upon their life and to reevaluate where they are within their lives right now so that they can finally decide to make room and to prepare for themselves to release this secret to the world and to let their true feelings be known. So 
Yeah, you guys, I definitely think with the meditation card coming through that your person has been thinking a lot about this secret and that it is going to get to a, a boiling point. It's going to get to a point where they're finally ready to just throw caution to the wind and to let people know what they're thinking. I do think that that will happen, but again, this is a very general reading, so for some of you guys, this person may end up deciding to not go after that dream or deciding to keep on doing what they're doing now, even though they don't want to do that anymore, but I do think for most of you guys, this person will pull through and they will decide to unveil this secret after a lot of meditation and a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating, they will decide to let people know what they're thinking but it will take time it's not going to happen overnight you guys so yeah you guys that is what i'm seeing for you today i hope that you have enjoyed this reading and if you did then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because i post new videos every monday and every friday and i would love to have you stop by the side of terror tube again sometime okay so i love you all so much and i hope that you have a gorgeous rest of your day friends Mwah. bye guys